Well, still no trailer, but today we did get another new Newswire post actually about the upcoming edition of the GTA 5 that's going to be releasing next week. They went into a little bit more details on the preload as well as the career builder. They actually went into a pretty good amount of depth about this, so it's actually pretty interesting. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So let's talk about the preload. We talked mainly about it yesterday, but just the official info, I guess. So preloading obviously is now available today on the, uh, the PlayStation store or the Microsoft store. These new versions, they're of course launching March 15th. Uh, they're going to have a bunch of the new features. Also now you can transfer your story mode progress. And then on March 15th, that's when you actually get to do your online character. So you can't do your online character just yet. It's only story mode at the moment. And they actually have this little tease as to one of the new vehicles. Those eager to continue their journey on the latest generation consoles will also get a fully converted Karen S95 souped up by the experts at How Special Works, along with a How Special Works racing outfit and set of new chameleon paints used on all vehicles so that's actually huge usable on all vehicles wow okay that's actually really cool so it sounds like simply by just planning these new additions of the game you get this car for free and of course this is the vehicle it looks pretty slick and i think maybe you can see a little bit of that chameleon paint job potentially in the pearlescent at least but uh but that sounds kind of neat all right so you get a free vehicle all right cool now the career builder, this is the, uh, the more interesting part actually, I think about this new update or this new game. So the career builder is going to be, you know, one of these new features in this new game, and it is designed to give new players or anyone for that matter, who wants to reset their character, a fresh start and a helpful leg up in the criminal world of Southern San Andreas. With the career builder, you'll enter GTA Online with a business property, a vehicle, and a weapon with room to add useful upgrades and a little extra GTA money to begin. Also, we got this pretty neat new artwork, which by the way, hairstyles, I don't think that are actually in the game. Only our characters could look this badass. But continuing, they say choose from a selection of the most popular criminal career paths in GTA Online. So you can choose to be an executive, a gun runner, a nightclub owner, or a biker. So those are the only four options you have. And then from there, you'll receive $4 million of cash to put towards acquiring the essentials. So you pick one of these four careers to ensure you have a business property and a huge range of missions and gameplay to embark upon immediately. And you can, of course, expand and dabble in new careers as you progress. So that's not, I mean, obviously, if you're a, a you know, a player who has a, a lot of money, you're not going to do this. But that's not terrible. Like if you, if you actually have no money and you just want to start from scratch. You get to choose between the CEO, which I think most people probably would do this. Gun runner is also not terrible. Nightclub, I'd probably stay away from. Biker also, I mean, it's not bad, but I'd probably stay away from it. These two are going to net you the most money. Honestly, though, from what I'm seeing, you pick one to just try and get the Kasaka. Whatever way to get a Kasaka the fastest, that's what you're going to be choosing. Is the best way to make money in the game is the Kyle Perico heist and uh, the Kasaka is the way you get that. So probably either the CEO or the gun runner, but four mil. I mean, that's, that's a good amount of cash to, to get started. If you're not spending it on a bunch of supercars and stuff. Uh, and then they continue after selecting a career, use your new $4 million to acquire startup essentials from across a wide range of properties vehicles and weapons okay wait so i guess maybe the four mil you have to buy a property you can select from the basics a non-upgraded business property alongside a simple weapon and a vehicle combination or okay maybe there's some options here you can opt for business properties complete with upgrades and customizations high-end vehicles and enough weapons to fill a gun locker it all depends on how much you want to spend your money okay that makes sense and they say and you can bring a maximum of one million dollars uh, from this with you into GTA Online. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So what it is, they put you into the career builder. 
you get four million dollars to just pick whatever you want between these four things and then all the vehicles and all of the weapons so you have to pick and choose you know if you want to spend it on a better vehicle better weapon better property and then if you actually have a million dollars left over i guess you can then bring that into online so when you're actually in your character you only get a maximum of one million if you're doing this career builder we'll probably take a more in-depth look at this we'll probably try and figure out what the the most efficient ways you know to max this all out probably once this game comes out or at least you know a day or two before so maybe next week sometime we'll take a look at that but that is for sure an interesting little thing and then they finally end by saying GTA 5 and, you know, whatever. It'll be available digitally March 15th. And then the physical releases are coming in April. Also, again, if you have shark card cash and you're trying to transfer from one platform to another, it will only work if they're on the same family. So PlayStation 4 to PS5, Xbox One to Xbox Series X. So that is the, uh, the new info. Also, just in case you did miss it yesterday, this is just the updated screenshot. I mean, unfortunately, I don't have it in American because I don't have my PS5 set up. But on PlayStation in the US, and I guess, well, this is what it's going to look like if you're in Europe. But in the US, it's going to be about 10 bucks on PlayStation on the PS5 to get story mode if you want it. Where Xbox, it's still 20 bucks. So you do get a bigger discount on PlayStation yet again. Just wanted to showcase that. One final thing that actually just sort of came out was this. This is actually happening tomorrow. A new state of play actually from PlayStation. And they mentioned specifically here uh, somewhere. Join us this Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern for new reveals and eye-catching updates for PS5 and PS4 titles. And well, one of the biggest PS5 titles they have upcoming is this new GTA game. So I think for sure there's going to be something at this state of play tomorrow. We might do a live stream, checking it out, watching it just to see in case there is something new. Uh, but yeah, I did just want to let you guys know this is something that's happening tomorrow. Uh, uh, you know, if there is something, if I don't live stream, I'll of course make a video, but uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if anything gets like leaked tonight to see. But yeah, this should be pretty cool. Hopefully we get maybe a trailer actually, finally. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video now. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.